So Julie, first of all, what's the most exciting thing about this sensor-based era? Xbox and Kinect have been a big part of getting the, the vision out there to consumers. Yes. What should they understand next? Well, I just think it's a new a start of a new way of computing. So we have had you know, new different kinds of input models that have had inflections in technology, like a mouse has, was a big inflection point. Touch was a big inflection point. I think voice, gesture, Vision is all starting to come together with the t different uh, with services and technology in the devices. You need the battery life, but once we yeah. get all those things, you'll be able to do some really amazing things. Now we're seeing some very different designs of products as well because I imagine when things are sensing, you need to shape them differently, comport them to the user differently. What are some of the things you've learned through Xbox, through Surface? You've been through this a couple times sure. now. Sure, sure. There's a, a lot of devices that are trying to be the one size fits all, and then there's the ones that are trying to be unique, individual, single purpose devices. And I think we're all still trying to figure out exactly what it means to be wearable. It's going to be different for everyone. I think it's about finding the problems to solve for people, and people are all different, and so there'll be different solutions for different Problem. Fair to say the jury is still out on all-in-one versus many discrete devices? I think so. I mean, you see the magic of something like you know Fitbit or Shine or even when the Kindle first came out. It was just a, a single-use purpose device and it captured your imagination. Mm -hmm. And then we started to add more to it and some of the magic kind of goes away after that. Mm -hmm. And so I think as you start to see some of the really interesting ideas, no one has really hit yet on the exact you know, scenario that's going to make everyone go out and get it yet. But it does, doesn't always have to start with a big bang. I think a lot of times technology yeah. starts as, oh, well, you know, like the iPhone. It's a bad phone, but it became something really interesting <laughs> and a good phone over time. So it's not something that's necessarily going to be one big bang. Let's talk about the services. The data that comes off these sensing products and then the services we create from them. If you could tell the, the average user, what's the fundamental difference and benefit of having something sense you that's going to make the services we use better? What's sure. the big idea? Well, I think there are many big ideas, but one of the ones I think is around authentication. It's one of the most onerous things about using your device today. I mean, the pin makes it pretty easy, but it's um, being able to go and you know, start your car, you still have to find your keys. Yeah. It has a sensor in there. Keys have changed, but we still have keys. And then you have a, a sensor on your keys to find your keys. It tells your phone <laughs> to find yeah. your keys. So there's uh, going to be new ways to authenticate that use your personally identifiable information that's private to you so no one else can steal your car or open your house or do other things um, that aren't really about you. I think that's going to unlock a lot of things for people. Yeah, and there's a lot of very small tediums that we go through every day. It right. may sound small to unlock your right. door with a key, open your car, have to enter that unlock code on your phone, but how many hundreds or even thousands of times do we do that a day now? Sure. To or, just access our stuff. Or bring it back to, you know, we were talking about Xbox a minute ago, the remote, right? The remote was a magical thing that changed channels, and then it got all those inputs for the different things that were connected to your TV, and it became an onerous task. Yeah. And so finding you know, ESPN HD was so difficult, and now with the invention of new kinds of input models with voice, you can say, you know, Xbox, watch ESPN. It'll go right to it. So it's more natural. More natural, more elegant. Intuitive. And more about what you're trying to get done and less about just having the capability be in the device. You can focus on the end right. and not so much on the means. Right. Great. Excellent. That's great, Julie. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much.